while we're on your back with another lesson. I want to start this video by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Bahashem, Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who taught me this truth. Shalom to you, Akim and Akwa, to believe and have faith in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, in these last days. Um, just got a couple of videos I want to play and uh, get a couple of scriptures to marry to them. Uh, this first video, <clears throat> this was on um, News 18 Live. And uh, it says, decoding Russia's spy ship off U.S. coast. Russia's intel ships spotted near uh, Hawaii and Florida. And now what you see over here is that it seems tensions are on the knife's edge, ladies and gentlemen, between the United States and Russia. Because here you see a Russian vessel. This has been flagged off by the United States. A Russian vessel near the Hawaiian Islands. Uh, now many uh, people within the Pentagon, many officials within the Pentagon say that this could be an espionage vessel that has been launched by the Russian Federation to spy on the United States. You know, I, I can't say, I, I can't speak to, to why the Russians um, are, are sailing this ship right now. Um, it's kind of precarious timing, but um, I would say that the Coast Guard is still is monitoring this um, Russian vessel that's um, we believe is an intelligence gathering vessel, but is operating in international and open waters. We haven't seen any unsafe or unprofessional um, uh, behavior, and um, we expect that the Russians will... Um, uh, operate within the region in accordance with international law. But for any, in terms of interaction with the with the vessel itself, I would direct you to the Coast Guard. Now, for now, what we are learning from the U.S. authorities is that they are in, they are monitoring this vessel. They are ensuring that there are no radio signals going in and out from this vessel into the mainland of the United States. But however, it is a point of concern for the U.S. authorities who feel that Russia has advanced espionage technology, and which is and that could be on this vessel that is being seen off the Hawaiian Islands. Remember the Hawaiian Islands, also a key security checkpoint when it comes to the naval security of the Pacific Corridor uh, off the coast of the United States. And with a Russian vessel in those waters, and especially the US authorities, not knowing exactly whether this is an espionage uh, vessel, this is surely uh, going to cause some more concern and raise the tension between the Kremlin and Washington, D.C. For now, the U.S. authorities are monitoring this vessel, monitoring communications coming in and out. But at the same time, they have also pointed out that Russia has advanced espionage technology. And this is a point of concern because this is happening right next to the Hawaiian Islands which are a key military outpost for the United States, especially when it comes to operations in the Pacific Theater. Yes, yeah, another video said that there was off the coast of uh, Florida as well, man. But you, you can tell, like, uh, the way um, America's, um, like, um, their Pentagon and all these different spokespeople, they, they act like they don't have a clue what's going on. They, they didn't look like they're, um, like, searching for answers of something they should know be fully aware of man and that goes to show you that these people are they don't they don't have a clue what the hell's going on man that uh joe biden um administration he, he, he's clueless man even if you know you're going to war you should know that you should have people in place that know what's going on to to even even if you know what i'm saying it, it's all biblical prophecy but you should know what the hell going on but you just put people up here and they don't have a damn clue what the hell going on so if they don't have a clue what's going on, what do you think these American people are thinking? Or no. They are clueless to what the Lord has prepared for Babylon the Great, man. And that, that lady that stood before these people, she was clueless. She said she would refer you to the Coast Guard, man. Clueless. Clueless, man. And there's also a video saying that they was off the coast of Florida. That's why I keep saying that. I didn't I didn't put that up. But I mean, these these um these politicians and and uh, uh, administration, administration um, uh, representatives—they are clueless, man. And they are in the in the place of um, protecting you as a people, man. You better put your trust in your how about Shemya Shah, man. That's all I'm gonna say on that, man. This is the next video. For conflict with NATO anti aircraft systems in every corner of Moscow, the Kremlin uh, residents of Vladimir Putin's government building are being fortified. Moscow's entire aircraft umbrella is on alert. Oh boy, this ain't a good sign. The Russian military 
and political leadership is preparing for direct confrontation with NATO fully confirming real news 24-7 about a rapid escalation in the Ukrainian front. We reported a month ago that Russia is fortifying the capital of Moscow with air defense systems. Newer information and videos show that air defense systems have been deployed not only at the Ministry of Defense as leaked yesterday, but also at other government buildings and administrative facilities and ministries. Oh boy. They are responsible for security of the entire country and the capital in particular. The Kremlin spokesman uh, Dmitry Peskov explained, referring to the defense ministry, there are clearly images of the Third World War and are no longer about the conflict with Ukraine. If Rus if Moscow is hit, there is an, uh, there will be an announcement from the Kremlin holding NATO, specifically Britain, Poland, and the United States responsible. From here on, from here on, it is only a matter of time before there is an open conflict. Currently, talks between NATO member countries are taking place at the U.S. Rimstein Air Base in Germany, with participants considering the possibility of delivering tanks from Poland, Britain, France, and the United States to Kiev. Oh boy! And then that's when I showed y'all these pics of them being on the buildings and stuff. So yeah, it's definitely getting cray cray. Yeah, that guy's pretty good on TikTok. May bring a lot of information going into um into the uh signs of the time for the most part, man. I got two more videos, but uh, I want to say this as well that um Russia have already pretty much declared a war with uh with the NATO over Ukraine. So they're basically they're getting prepared uh, through um that um they're basically getting prepared for World War Three, man, because they know it's we already in World War Three, man. Before the missiles are being shot off, uh, the men of the Lord um already know that we have a, one major prophecy must that must come to pass before these missiles are being shot off and war commence, and that's the MOTB. So you know I'm, I don't want people to get ahead of themselves and think well they, they can go to war anytime. Now everything is set up um perfectly through your how about Shimmy Alasha. He has a setup where it's gonna it's gonna have the uh, MOT basically be masked, mad not masked, but basically be given out on a on a mass scale, just like the uh, the jab was given out on a mass scale. So we 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 are waiting and seeing when the prophecy that prophecy comes to pass, and then we know that these these um, World War Three will commence, and the destruction of Babylon the Great will be at hand of nuclear-capable torpedoes that are said to be so powerful they could cause radioactive ocean swells and huge nuclear tsunamis that could destroy coastal cities in the U.S. or its allies. The Poseidon torpedoes are due to be delivered to the special-purpose nuclear-powered submarine Belgorod. A pro-Vladimir Putin figure, Dmitry Kaislyov said that these torpedoes would be capable of causing a 500-meter high tidal wave of radioactive seawater and that they could plunge Britain into the depths of the sea. If Poseidon can indeed trigger enormous radioactive tsunamis, the torpedoes could have a huge impact on marine life, as well as human life. Radioactive fallout has been previously found to have a big impact on wildlife in the vicinity. In the aftermath of the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, birds and mammals were found to have developed cataracts in their eyes and smaller brains. U.S. and Russian officials have both described Poseidon as a new category of retaliatory weapon, capable of triggering radioactive ocean swells to render coastal cities uninhabitable. On the other side, Deputy Chairman of Russia's Security Council Dmitry Medvedev warned NATO allies that a defeat for Russia in Ukraine could provoke a nuclear war. In Telegram, he said, the loss of a nuclear power in a conventional war can provoke the beginning of a nuclear war. Nuclear powers have never lost major conflicts on which their fate depends. Though his comments on Russia's theoretical defeat in Ukraine may show that the Kremlin is increasingly worried about its ability to win Putin's war as Western support for Kiev continues to roll in. Putin has repeatedly threatened to use at least tactical nuclear weapons in Ukraine as the conflict has dragged on much longer than experts think Putin intended. Tactical nuclear weapons are meant to be more contained than other nuclear weapons and used on the battlefield. Yeah, as you see, man, um, 
the it, it, it will it will turn into a, a nuclear war quick. It's, it's going to come. In, it's going to turn into a nuclear war fast, man. And you can see clearly that all these things are coming fast, rapid. It's not like a um, six months ago that they did this. Six months now, no man. This shit is daily. Daily is an update where they moving this, they moving that. They got this circle, they got this surrounded. So it's going to turn into a nuclear war fast, man. And if you're if you're not in this truth, and I I, I just want to make this clear, man, because it's a lot of Israelite groups to follow. It's a lot of Israelite groups um, that sound good, make you 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 don't make you want to be in the, in the truth and, and get you interested in researching and find out who you are. But the the group that you're going to follow to get salvation. I just believe through the spirit is Great Millstone. Uh, since I've been following them, they haven't sugarcoated anything, man. It's been straight up, man. So uh, anybody that's interested in really seeking your how about Shem Yahushua with 100% truth to get salvation is through those men of, of the Lord, man. And that's Great Millstone from the apostles to the elders on down to brothers that, you know, follow the same likewise doctrine, man. Because we, we, we're clearly at that time where the Lord is basically making a lot of moves on the earth. Last video. And it's, you know, I think he's going to explain it, that uh, he got a prediction, Russian stealth submarines around America, man. As you've seen, they already got those Poseidon missiles. I did the videos I just played, those new supersonic Poseidon missiles, man, that they have on those uh, on those submarines, man, that would create tsunamis. I ain't no telling how tall, man. Probably the biggest damn mountain I got in the background, man. But it will cover the East Coast and the West Coast, man, that they got on the... On the uh, out on those submarines, man. So, and you just seen where I just played the other video about all the stealth, um, not the stealth Salakia, but the, but the, um, those, um, spy ships is, is on, on the coast of America. But this guy goes into, you know, goes into what, you know, what the submarines are, are doing. Salakia. Prediction. Russian stealth submarines are surrounding the United States of America. I have had a vision when I saw Russian spy warships on the news in areas like Hawaii. These Russian spy ships are leading the way for these nuclear stealth submarines. These are unmanned submarines, and they are surrounding North America. This includes Canada and Mexico. Given the new agreement between Mexico, Canada, and the United States to be allies, these submarines will launch nuclear weapons if America attacks any Russian warships. And these are, you know, pretty much all opinions. I mean, he, he's not a military guy, but it makes sense as he's seen those uh, of those uh, ships off the East Coast and West Coast. Um, well, I said the West. Coast, I'm saying Florida and Hawaii, like it was reported on the news. But those, um, we we don't know how many submarines they got out there. But that was just something he he thought that he seen. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, it makes sense. It makes sense for those um, stealth um, stealth submarines to be surrounding. America, because it's biblical prophecy, and uh, we're gonna get it right here in Jeremiah. Yeah, because those um, those spy ships or whatever, man, they probably were just you know circling around and, and getting targets to hit, man. I mean, I don't know for sure, but it, it makes sense. This is uh, Jeremiah fifty, and I'm gonna just get the point right here in fourteen. Now I'm gonna start at um, I'm gonna start at verse eleven. It says, "Because ye were glad." Because ye rejoiced, O ye destroyer of my heritage. It's talking about Babylon the Great, man. America, because they have us in captivity. Because ye are grown fat as the heifer at grass and bellows at bulls. So you got, got rich off of us. Um, your mother shall be sore confounded. Talking about uh, Great Britain, man. Who, the, who America came out of, Great Britain. Um, it says, your mother shall be sore confounded. She that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nation shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. <laughs> be destruction, man. 
because of the wrath of Yahweh by Shem Shah, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. And it's talking about America, man, Babylon the Great. He says, everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all the plagues. And those plagues, those missiles, and those, and those chariots of Yahweh by Shem Shah coming down, bringing destruction, man. So it'll be, a, it'll be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert, man. So that's what's prepared for America. It says, put yourself in array against Babylon around about. So that means surround her, surround her. It says, all ye that bend the bow, shoot at her, spare no arrows, for she have she have sinned against your house by Shem Shah. So the Lord is, is preparing this place to be surrounded. And that's, that's, that's just not... Um, uh, America, that's a Russia, Iran, because uh, uh, Iran has warships down in uh, down in South America, man. So the Lord telling you this place is going to be surrounded. We read er, uh, up in the up uh, verse um, twelve. It said the mother, the mother of her. So we, we is not is not the actual mother. So it's talking about this place, man, Babylon the Great. It says, put yourself in array against Babylon around about, surround her. All ye that bend the bow, all you that have missiles, man. It says, spare no arrows, shoot every missile you have. She has sinned against you, how about Shem Shah? This place is sin against the Lord, man. And there's no way to um, to uh, rectify that, man. This place is going to suffer great destruction. It says, shout against her around about. She have given her hand, her foundation are fallen. See, this place is fallen, man. Mentally, spiritually, and physically is going to happen. It says, her walls are thrown down, for it is the vengeance of Yahweh Bashem Shah. Take vengeance upon her, as she have done, do unto her. So this place is raped, robbed, and murdered the entire planet, man. The elite use this place to conquer many nations, man. So what, what she's done, do unto her. It says, cut off the sore from Babylon. And him that handleth the sickle in the time of harvest. So everybody making money off this place, cut them off, man. Go back to your own land. It says, for the fear of the oppressing sword, they shall turn everyone to his people, and they shall flee everyone to his own land. So it's telling you all these other nations, all these, um, um, what you call up, Elamites, and all the nations, I'm just going to name all of them. But all the nations that had uh, got got money off this place, man, you need to return back to your own land, man, before the nuclear destruction comes. And that's clear. That's plain. It says they're going to go back to their own land. This is uh, Isaiah 47 in verse 1. It says, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter. See that? It's the virgin daughter of Babylon. The ancient Babylon is still, uh, is still existed. But it's talking about the daughter. They did exactly what the uh, old Babylon done. He's talking about the daughter, man. Come down, sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldees. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate, man. So this place is not going to be called the the um, the the um, the the, the uh, basically the promised promised land for other nations, man. You see all these different uh, nations that get on boats, thirty, forty. Shit, 30, 40 people on a little small boat coming to America to get money, man. You know, the, uh, the southern kingdom, I mean, the northern kingdom from like Mexico and trying to come up to America and make money and, and prosper, in other words, man. This place is not going to be called tender and delicate anymore, man. It's not going to be the, the place that's looked at to, um, to be like, in other words. It says, take the millstone, grind mill, uncover the locks, Make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers, man. This place is, is basically the walls are being uh, pulled down, just like we just read in Jeremiah. The walls are being pulled down in this place. We're seeing the sins of America now, man. And there's so many sins that is that, that is reached the heavens. It says, thy, neck is, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. So all the sins and all the wickedness this place done has been uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. So the Lord has seen all these things that Babylon has done. And now he's telling you to sit down on the ground. Everything is uncovered, man. Everything you've done is seen now. Your judgment is near. It says, for for our Redeemer, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shav, host is his name, the Holy One of Israel. 
not the holy one of the Edomites, not the holy one of, of the Elamites, the Ammonites, the um, uh, Hamites. No, the holy one of Israel, man. You blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man, you are who the Lord is 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 coming back to to bring out of this captivity, and and that's talking about these uh, hope the hopeful elect, not the two thirds, man, because these videos we doing for you two thirds to wake up before it's too late, but it's already <laughs> it's our judgment is already given to you, man, because you don't want to repent. This is um this is uh Psalms one thirty seven. In verse 7, it says, Remember, O Yahweh, by Shemiah, shall the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even the foundations thereof, O daughter of Babylon. So the reason why I brought this out, because Edom is, is, is a future prophecy that they will be in the daughter of Babylon. Man. They will be in the place that the Lord is coming back to destroy, man. Isaiah 63. So it says, the old, the old, the 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 daughter of Babylon. That's America, man, without a shot of a doubt, man. The so-called white man is the Edomites, man. They control and conquer the entire planet. And I'm just, I'm not talking about no 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 little um Joe Blow Edomite, man, and you know, go to work and drink beer and shit on the weekends. I ain't talking about him. I'm talking about these elite. They know. It's his old daughter of Babylon. And they don't even stay in Babylon, so <laughs> That's crazy, man. These people don't have a clue what the hell going on. Like I said, in the Pen the Pentagon, the people in the Pentagon, clueless. She didn't know what the fuck was going on. She said she would refer you to the damn Coast Guard. I thought it, um, for me, I didn't, you know, I'm not a military guy, but shit, the Coast Guard used to taking drugs and shit out, man. Trying to stop people from getting into the country. Man, they ain't got a clue what's going on with military. That I know of. I'm gonna say it like that. Shit, they, uh, they they need the military out there, man. I would think shit. But uh, I did see I did see a, a video where they said that um, they had um, uh, military aircraft following these uh, spy ships. But we already know what's going to happen. Either if they follow them or not, we already know what the what the um, biblical prophecy for Babylon the Great is. It says, "Old verse eight. It says, O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee, as thou has rewarded, as thou thou has served us." Happy shall he be that take up and dash up the little ones against the stones, man. So you finna be destroyed, man. America, Babylon, the great. You, you, your, your judgment is here. And it's, and, it's, and it's soon to come, man. It's very close, man. You just feel it in the spirit, man. All these things are happening rapidly, man. Chariots being manifest daily. This is Jeremiah 25. And um, I'm going I'm to get the point in verse 10. And I'm going to drop down to verse 12. It says, um, Moreover, I will take from them the voice of mirth. That's talking about you niggas love going party and shit, man. And the voice of gladness, getting money, having fun, the, um, enjoying a football game, basketball game. And you watch these sports and shit now. It, 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 it's, it's obviously that it's set up, man. It's obvious that they shaving points. It's, it's not, it's not, nothing is good anymore, man. They destroyed something that the people liked, you know what I'm saying? And now it's obvious that, man, football, man, that shit's set up, man. That shit rigged like a motherfucker, man. Even the players even know it. It's, it's rigged like the dude said, shit, I know what was going to happen, shit, um, Sunday. And, and, they, and they played the next week. So he knew a week ahead of time what was going to happen throughout the entire game, man. So this shit rigged, man. Nobody care about basketball and football no more, man. That shit is over with, man. And that's the voice of gladness and the voice of bridegroom, people getting married and shit, and the voice of brides and the sound of the millstone and the light of the candles. So the, jo the jobs, man, all the jobs being taken away, man. All the jobs being taken away, man, no, motherfuckers can't even barely go get some eggs and shit, man. This place is over with, man. This place is over with. I was gonna get um twelve, but I'm just gonna get the. I ain't gonna make it too long, man. I ain't gonna make it too long at all. I just got about four or five more scriptures to get. This is Ecclesiastes twelve, and I'm starting at verse one. It says, "Remember now, thy Creator, in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not." So we trying to get you to repent and come back to Yahweh Shem Yahshua before the evil days come. 
It says, nor the years draw nigh. So the years are the years. It ain't years no more, man. It's probably months, weeks. You know what I'm saying? I don't know for sure, but you just through the spirit, you just feel like it's not that far away, man. Even Christians are coming on TikTok, making videos, crying and talking about all this uh, destruction that's coming this year. So I, I don't, I don't say it's years. And I, I don't feel like it's years away, but I feel like it's probably weeks, months at the most, man. But we'll see. We'll see through the spirit. We hope it is quicker than that. It says, uh, the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Before, you know, all hell break loose and you, you can't get this truth. It says, while the sun or the moon, uh, while the sun or the light of the, or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. So before all these things pass away, man, I seen a video where it goes into the stars are being removed, man. You can't stargaze no more. All the stars you kind of seen in, in years past, they're not shining like it was before, man. And I don't know for sure. I've seen a guy that you know kind of goes into the to the uh, moons and the stars and stuff. He's saying that they they was uh, removing. I ain't gonna say he they was removing, but the the uh, stars that they used to see in the sky are being removed. They ain't up there like it was before. It says in that in that in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves. And the grinder, the grinders cease because there are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. You ain't gonna have no jobs, man. All hell is about to break loose, and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of grinding is low. So the doors is, is talking about these jobs, man. You're not gonna be able to make no money, man. You're not gonna be able to go and do as you usually did, man. Go and get your hamburger. Go out, take your old lady out to out to eat and shit, man. This place is a wrap. It says, a door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. So all the partying and all the bullshit, the concerts and shit, it's going to be over with, man. This place is, is on ball time. And you can't explain it enough, man, because... Everybody, everybody has heard the words of Yahweh by Shabbat And I'm being honest, man. Everybody that heard this truth. If you didn't heard, if you ain't heard the truth, you ignored it. This is a uh, second answer is four. And I'll just get the point right here in 37. It says, by measure hath he measured the times and by number hath he numbered the times. And he doeth not move nor stir them until said measure be fulfilled. So we know the time is close, man. The time is near. The time is fulfilled, man. And it said this generation, the, the world will not pass without this generation. Uh, Slock it. said the, uh, the, all, the, everything going to be fulfilled in this generation. And this is the generation everything is going to be fulfilled, man. Because we are definitely living in those last days, man. Even a Christian can tell you that. Clueless as he is to the scripture, he can tell you that. Yes, we in the last days, man. We ain't, 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 uh, and they start babbling. And so I hate when somebody act like they speaking in tongues, not knowing what the fuck they talking about, man. I hate that, man. That's one thing I hate about Christians, man. They babbling. I believe about all that shit, man. You ain't even saying nothing, man. What is you saying? <laughs> That's the stupidest shit, man. I don't know who the fuck told them that there was that was you was talking to the Lord. This is a uh, second address fifteen, and I'm just getting the point real quick right here. Twenty four it says. Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments, saith Yahweh by Shemyasha. I will not spare them. Go your way, ye children, from the power. Defile not my sanctuary. Let's talk about you two thirds, man. He says, For Yahweh by Shemyasha knoweth all them that sin against him, and therefore deliver them, so like a he them, into death and destruction, man. All you that didn't believe and have faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahushai and turned your back on Yahweh by Shem Yahushai from the men of the Lord that he blessed with the scriptures, man. Blessed the knowledge of the scriptures, man. From Great Millstone, the, uh, the um, apostles and elders of Great Millstone on down, man. You rejected the men of the Lord. You thought they didn't know anything. But those men going to be glorified in that day, man. Through Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, by being saved. As you Christians always say, I'm, I'm saved. <laughs> saved from what? You don't even know destruction is coming. 26, he says, For Yahweh by Shemiah shall know all them that sin against him, 
and therefore deliver th he them into death and destruction, man. So you're going to be delivered to death and destruction. You're saved for death and destruction, man. That's what you're saved from. you saved to be destroyed. For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth, and ye shall remain in them, for power shall not deliver you, because he have sinned against you. How you have sinned against him, man. See, the Lord is telling you, you didn't believe, you didn't have faith, you didn't want to come back to, you didn't want to repent and come back to him. The Lord and Savior, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, you didn't want to repent and come to him. So now look at this. It says, Behold, a horrible vision and appearance thereof from the east. And that's talking about those Russians that surround in America, man, Babylon and Great. Like I said, I don't know for sure, but it's encircling this place, man. They're encircling this place. And we know that the scriptures are faithful and true. These things are happening right before our eyes, man. Let me get one more real quick. This is 2nd Ezra 7. I'm just get the point real quick in 43. Because it's, um, it's, it's, it's undoubtable. This place... Is that his, 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 his last rope, man? Is his last, <laughs> what you call it? Uh, motherfucker be saying, uh, ye, well, not, not D hop, but they be saying, uh, damn, what's the saying they always say? Slot, man, I forgot. Um, second Ezra 7 and verse 43, it says, but, but the day of doom shall be the end of this time. So the day of doom is going to be the end of this time, man. And the beginning of immortality for to come, wherein corruption is past. And that's when you save, man, after the day of doom. You, you escape the day of doom and the beginning of immortality. That's when you're being saved, man. You're going to live forever. That's how you know you save, saved, man. Not I'm just saved like a slogan. Hey, hey, what the hell is that going to do? But I'm going to end it there, man. Lord willing, was edifying. Shalom. Shalom.